So did you or your friends bet on the election, Trump or Biden, who would win? Or maybe y'all are interested in the stock markets and you want to bet on when Airbnb will IPO, for example. This is the world of prediction markets. And this is really a fascinating space. In this video, I'm going to break down decentralized prediction markets from top to bottom for you and share with you how you can utilize them to put your money where your mouth is while making predictions and even earn some money as well when you get your predictions right. So if this topic sounds interesting to you at all, sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. Welcome back to Bitcoin for Beginners. I'm your host, Kevin, and this topic about decentralized prediction markets has truly fascinated me. I've been following all along, but admittedly, I haven't actually bet on any of them yet. But I did do a ton of research for you, and I will break it all down like we do on this channel with no frills nor fluff. So if you like this video at all while you're watching, please smash the like button and subscribe down below to catch future content. So what are prediction markets on the highest level, right? These are a very unique type of market that you can speculate on. Essentially, you can place bets on the outcome of future events. And you can utilize information from a wide variety of sources to make decisions on those events. And if you think about it, different people have access to different types of information, and they also draw different conclusions from the information they see. That's why the price of each of these markets fluctuates and doesn't just stay constant. Now, I do want to offer a brief background and history into these types of prediction markets if you're curious. So prediction markets have been around for a long time, right? But there's always been a few problems with them. How to find a trusted party to maintain the system, an impartial judge to certify the results is also a hurdle. That's why the blockchain world has always had their eyes on this space as a really great use case for blockchain tech. The first one came out in 2014 by Paul Stork, built the Bitcoin hive mind, which is actually a peer-to-peer -peer Oracle protocol, which lets you get accurate data from the outside world into the blockchain so Bitcoin users can speculate on various events on chain. But it seems pretty inactive and potentially dead as of late 2020. But as blockchain tech continues to mature and smart contracts become more powerful and full featured, there's been a flood of other competitors entering the space and we'll take a look shortly at some of them. But first, how do they work, right? An example will speak wonders here. First, someone needs to open a market and propose a question. For example, will Bitcoin exceed $20,000 by the end of 2020? Then people who see the market and are interested can buy shares or tokens associated with that market. And there's two options, true slash yes or false slash no. That means that you think that's gonna happen or you don't. And these conditions are written in the blockchain ledger via smart contract. So everyone can verify the conditions and verify the transactions that happen to make sure the system is legit and trustworthy. And at the end of that particular prediction market set by the initial conditions, the correct share becomes worth $1 while incorrect ones get worth $0. But in the meantime, before it closes, those fluctuate up and down, right? So if the yes share is at 60 cents, for example, then you can think of that event having the probability of 60% chance of happening. So in the case that we said, it would be 60% probability that Bitcoin is over 20K by December 31st, 2021. But imagine something happens, right? A big market drop happens for whatever reason, that share price or the yes share would likely go down as well. And you can buy or sell these shares, trade it all the way up until the closing time designated in the contract. And other people will participate as well. They have different opinions than you. They have different analysis, different metrics they use. And so they may place different bets as you, and that affects the price of these shares on the market. And what happens when the contract closes this market, right? There's something called the Oracle, which provides the ground truth information to the market. And then the smart contract will automatically transfer the money to the shareholders who made the right decision at that point in time. I just want to note that there are decentralized versus centralized oracles as well. If you use decentralized oracles, they could use incentives and a protocol to crowdsource the answer. Essentially, various people who hold a particular governance token provides the answer to various market questions. 
And if you operate truthfully, you get the rewards or the cut of the fees per se. But if not, the stake you pose gets removed and you lose that, right? So those are the incentives. And there may be some edge cases or problems with that approach, but that's outside the scope of this video. So on a high level as an end user, your step-by-step -step process to participate in these prediction markets are number one, open an account, number two, deposit funds, number three, buy the shares and tokens with whatever bet you wanna make. Before close, you can trade any shares you want and then profit or loss at market close. Those are the simple five steps, essentially. Now, you may be wondering what type of predictions can you make? Honestly, anything that has a binary outcome, right? Other people just have to want to predict it for there to be a market. It can't just be you or else it's never gonna fluctuate, right? And some popular ones, as you can imagine, election results, sporting game results, public company data, like when they're gonna IPO, price of commodities or other types of assets, and even weather conditions. Really, whatever you can imagine that people want to predict, you can form a prediction market for. Anything that you usually bet with your friends on could be a good candidate. Now, just real quick before I get into the rest of this video, quick shout out to our patrons, Crypto.com. Thank you all for being a longtime patron to our channel and their EARN program that I made a video on before. You can deposit crypto and earn interest, kind of like a savings account. But they recently added Polkadot or DOT and Uniswap or Uni and up to 5% yield per year. And so you could get your interest received in DOT and uni as well. Now, some notable projects in this decentralized prediction market space. Of course, Augur is the huge one that we all probably know. Founded in 2014, had an ICO in 2015, raising $5 million. They have their own REP token, REP, and is built on the Ethereum blockchain. They offer both ETH and USD markets. It's fully decentralized in terms of oracles and smart contracts as well. It's still running and looks way better than 2017, but still a little bit slow and clunky. They have very few users though, like in the past week per DAP radar, only around 10. This is not good since you really need network effects for this kind of product or platform to succeed. Omen was launched this year in 2020 on Gnosis protocol, fully decentralized as well. You can customize a lot of things like your own collateral token, like their AL token, for example, and also choose a custom Oracle as well. They have a very simple UI, way simpler than the Augur platform. And it also seems like they have some liquidity. Delphi is a China-based one, a mobile app, raised some funds before, but it looks dead to me. Also, Polymarket is a new and promising one. Came out in 2020. Their goal is to make it way easier to participate. They reached 1 million in total liquidity as of October 2020. So hopefully that continues to increase. Now, I just want to know another approach is to do things like the FTX exchange, which a lot of people use to bet on this election, but they make it a futures contract and this is centralized. So that doesn't have a lot of the benefits that we want to talk about now. So in terms of centralized ones, those are not good for many reasons. It's closed. So many regions around the world can't access them. It's censored. So you can't bet on anything. Some things might get closed down. There are limits to your bet and also high fees potentially charged by a middleman or the operators of their platforms, right? On the other hand, decentralized, there's no counterparty risk since a lot of times they connect straight to your wallet and you don't have to let them hold your funds. There's no incentive to play against you by the operator per se. It's resilient to censorship resistance because while they can shut down the front end website, the smart contracts you could always directly interact with yourself with an Ethereum wallet. They also have a global liquidity pool which Theoretically makes it better since a lot of people can pull together and have activity and volume. But there are some hurdles and negatives, right? First and foremost, imperfect oracles. You must have accurate information for these prediction markets to work with no mistakes. If it's just a simple market, you can use some automated bots as your oracle. But if it's a more complex prediction, you may need reporters, sometimes humans, right? But you have to make sure they give honest answers, right? The, so the more reporters, maybe the better but they can't be corrupted to lie, especially if there's a lot at stake. So if there's dishonesty or a corrupted Oracle, the rightful winners will lose their fund, which breaks the whole system. Number two is ease of use and liquidity is a huge issue, right? It's great for speculating for small time guppies like you and I, but not great as a probability gauge unless there's a lot of activity and volume going on. You need whales to participate with their private exclusive info that the mainstream media does not tell us so soon, and we need them to be trading on that. 
That's how you get accurate price action that reflects real world probabilities, or a lot closer at least. Low volume, low activity can get you all sorts of weird results and something maybe 90% when in real world it's actually closer to like 10% per se. So that's it. This is so fascinating. Do you agree with me? What is the future outlook, right? I'm bullish on them, even though they haven't had that much success quite yet. Prediction markets have been utilized more and more as we've seen in this past election cycle. These centralized ones, in my opinion, have clear value propositions, but they need to be easier to use and they need to get way more activity and liquidity for success. If they can reach critical mass, then it's off to the races, in my opinion. Let me know what you think if you've ever tried any of them or currently use any of them. Let me know down in the comments below. Please like, subscribe. I'm Kevin and have a great rest of your day.